worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. And power for thou art created all things and for the pleasure they are they are they are and are created thou art worthy Lord thou art worthy O Lord worthy O Lord to receive glory honor and power and power for thou art created all things and for the pleasure they are they are they are uh, what created there is no only as the Lord only as the Lord there is no there is no beside it, beside the God, neither is there any rock like our God. There is no holy as the Lord, holy as our God. Oh, there is no holy as the Lord, holy as the Lord. There is no, there is no beside thee, beside a God, neither is there any raw like our God. Oh, there is no holy as the Lord, holy as our God. There is no holy as the Lord, holy as the Lord. There is no, there is no beside thee, beside the Lord. Nada is there any raw like our God. There is none holy as the Lord. Let's go ahead and begin to worship the Lord. Let's lift up our voices. Let's begin to adore Him. Let's begin to exalt His holy name. It's worthy to be praised, worthy to be adored, worthy to be exalted. Let's worship the Most High. Father, we worship You. We exalt Your holy name. We give You praise. We give You worship. We give You adoration. We declare there is none like You. There was none like You. There has never been anyone like You. There can never be anyone like You. You are the Most High. Father, I bless you. Father, I worship you. Father, I magnify you. I give you praise. I give you glory. Blessed, blessed be your name, O Lord. You are the God. You are full of power. You are full of might. You are full of majesty. You are a great deliverer, O God. Who is it like thee? Who can compare to thee? You are the incomparable God. Father, I bless your holy name. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name we worship. Amen. I want to lift up your voice. You want to begin to appreciate him. Let's thank him for his mercy. Let's thank him for his goodness. In all ways, you know God has been good to you. Can you please go ahead and begin to thank him? Father, thank you. Ancient of this, thank you. Eternal Redeemer, thank you. The Most High God, thank you. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you are doing. Thank you for what you will do for me. Lord, I bless your holy name because you are such a great God. You are such a great King. You have been good to me. Thank you for safety. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for healing. Thank you, O oh God, for your provision. Thank you for answers to my prayer. Thank you for fighting in my battle. Thank you for not leaving me alone. Thank you for not forsaking me. Thank you for being there for me. Lord, I am grateful. Thank you for my own, for my wife, for my children, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God, for my lying down, for my rising up, for safety in all my journey. Lord, I am grateful, O Lord. Blessed, 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 blessed be your name, O Lord. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 
You want to ask God for mercy? If there is any sin in your life that would not allow God to reach out to you, even this, I mean, this evening, you want to cry to him, let God just show you mercy and let him forgive you now. Let's go ahead and pray for mercy. Let's pray for forgiveness of our sin. Father, I come before thee. I humble myself before you. In any way I have err, in any way I have sinned against thee, any unrighteousness, any iniquity, O Lord. Father, please have mercy and forgive me. Ancient of days, have mercy and forgive me. Eternal Redeemer, have mercy and forgive me. Forgive me of every sin, whatever the accuser of the brethren is reporting, O God, against me before you. Father, have mercy now. Father, please just have mercy. Have mercy now and forgive me. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You want to pray this prayer and I want to pray with all your heart. You want to cry to God, let him arise and command your deliverance tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, O oh God of heaven and earth, can you please call in with all your heart? Say, O oh God of heaven and earth, arise now in your power and command my deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and begin to pray. O oh God of heaven and earth, arise, command my deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. God of heaven and earth, command now my deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. God of heaven and earth, arise now and command my deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Command tonight my deliverance. Let there be deliverance for me now. Let there be deliverance for me now. Let there be deliverance for me now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In all area of bondage, in all area of captivity, in all area, oh God, that I need her. Lord, command my deliverance tonight. Father, command my deliverance tonight. Father, command my deliverance tonight. Father, command my deliverance tonight. Santa Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You want to pray this prayer, and I want you to pray with all your heart. You want to command every evil pattern of your father's house. Let that evil pattern know that you are not his candidate. Whatever evil that is common to them of your father's house, whatever evil is common to them of your lineage, you want to break away from it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Say evil patterns of my father's house. Can you say with all boldness, say evil patterns of my father's house, I am no longer your candidate. Therefore, be terminated now by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and pray that prayer. Evil patterns of my father's house, I am no longer your candidate. Therefore, be terminated now in the name of Jesus Christ. Evil patterns of my father's house, I am not your candidate. Be terminated now. Be terminated now. Be terminated now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil that is come unto them of my father's house, Every evil that has come unto them of my lineage, I am no longer your candidate. Be terminated now. Be terminated now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be terminated now. I command the evil patterns of my father's house. You will not be seen again in my life. The evil patterns of my lineage. You will not manifest again in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. The evil pattern of my father's house. I command to now. Be terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Evil patterns of my father's house. Be terminated now. Mandu le kujagada le kosheh le parado soto re handala bosha halianda. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You want to command any covenant that joins your life 
to power of darkness. Let that covenant be broken. Maybe the reason why the power of darkness has easy access to your life has been well, tormented, troubling your life, manipulating your life is because there's a covenant in place that joins you to that power of darkness. Let that covenant be broken tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can you pray this prayer? Say, covenant that joins my life to power of darkness. <laughs> Can you please say with all boldness, covenant that joins my life to power of darkness. I renounce you tonight. I reject you tonight. Therefore, covenant that joins my life to power of darkness. Break now by the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and break that covenant. In the name of Jesus. I address any covenant that joins my life to power of darkness. I renounce that covenant. I renounce that covenant. We oh, yeah, break now. Now, release me in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I address that covenant. Whatever covenant that joins my life to power of darkness. Oh, yeah, break tonight. Oh, yeah, break tonight. Oh, yeah, break tonight. Oh, yeah, break tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I renounce the covenant. I reject the covenant. I denounce the covenant. Whatever covenant is here that joins Joins my land to power of darkness, but the power in the blood of Jesus break tonight. Release me, break tonight. Release me, break tonight. Release me, break tonight. Release me. Mandu se kete le kusha katabolo do se teli halabo shahali handaraba. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for answers to our prayer for our deliverance. Lord, as we go briefly to your word, we pray you speak to us. By your word, let our deliverance be established. Thank you, eternal Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. I want to welcome you again to another edition of this deliverance program. Amen. Tonight, the mighty hand of God shall work out your deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Now, tonight we are looking at why deliverance? Why, why, why deliverance? I'm a child of God. Why do I need deliverance? Praise the Lord. Now, deliverance is needed because of the fall of man in the garden when God created man. Originally, man was in charge of all that God created. God blessed man. God asked man to, to uh, you know, to be fruitful, to replenish the earth, to subdue the earth, and God released dominion to man to exercise over all that He has created. So man was on top of all, and man could never then be subjected to the control of anything created by. God. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. Look at it. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. He said, And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it. Now listen to this. And add dominion over all the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Now, God gave dominion to man. So, at that, before the fall, man was never in need of deliverance because man was not subject to any power or to anything, but rather, all things were subject to man. Amen. But suddenly, the enemy came, tricked man. Amen. A man sinned against God. And not only that man was not qualified to die, man by that fall handed over the dominion that God has given him unto what? Unto Satan, which now makes Satan to have dominion over man, which now makes Satan to be able to subdue man. Why? Because the moment the, the, the moment the dominion was handed over to Satan, Satan became the one in charge. Ah, he became the prince of this world. Amen. He became the one that was ruling, that was ready. Oh, everything came under him, including man. 
I mean, look at John, John chapter 14. I mean, hear what Jesus Christ, see how Jesus Christ addressed Satan. John chapter 14, verse 30. Amen. John chapter 14, verse 30. I show you, let me show you something. In that book of John. Amen. Verse 30. John 14, verse 30. Hear what the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, he said, year after, I will not talk much with you. For the prince of this world cometh and art nothing in me. Amen. Satan was being addressed as what? Jesus even addressed him as what? As the prince of this world. Man surrendered dominion. Man surrendered the ability to subdue to Satan. Satan now became a charge, now became the prince of this world. John chapter 16, verse 11. John 16, verse 11. Jesus still addressed him as the world, as the prince of this world. He said, of judgment, because the prince of this world is what? Is judged. The prince of this world is George. John chapter 12, verse 31. John chapter 12, verse 31. Hear what Jesus Christ. I mean, see what how he addressed Satan again. John chapter 12, verse 31. John chapter 12, verse 31. Amen. He was still addressed as what? As the prince of this world. He said, now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be what? Be cast out. Amen. By handing over the dominion, you know, to Satan, he became the prince of this world. He became the one in charge. So therefore, he could afflict, he could torment, he could control, he could manipulate man. Amen. Even in the book of Matthew chapter 4, Satan bragged about this dominion to our Lord Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 4, he bragged about it. If you look at verse 8 to 10, Matthew chapter 4, verse 8 to 10, he say, again, the devil take him up into an exceeding high mountain and shew him all the kingdoms of this world and the glory of them and said unto him all these things will I give thee if thou will fall down and worship me amen now then Jesus then said Jesus unto him get thee and Satan for it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him alone shall thou serve amen he brought he said hey, Jesus come here oh I know you want to save this world I tell you know I'm the one in charge I'm the one in control they are all under my control just bow to me then I will hand them over to you I am the prince of this world Jesus did not argue with him Jesus did not say well you are talking rubbish amen why because that was who he was then by the reason of handing over of dominion to him. Amen. Jesus did not argue with him. He brought that, hey, I have the dominion. Amen. So when man lost dominion in the garden, amen, man now became subject to who? To set up. Amen. So now the moment the dominion was handed over to Satan, then Satan was now able to do all that he likes. With what? With man. Oh, he began to alter the destiny, alter the glory of man. Begin to put man in bondage. Begin to torment man. Why? Because he has dominion over them. Amen. And before you know it, the world that ought to be peaceful, that ought to be a wonderful place. You know, things began to uh, 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 turn and uh, turn sour until a point in time which God was fed up with the world. Why? Because Satan brought in a lot of confusion, a lot of evil. Amen. And the Bible says, God repented and created man. Amen. And God has to wipe away man. Amen. At the flood. In the days of Noah. Amen. Now, eventually, when the flood came, it wiped off all the living creatures, except those ones that were found in the ark. Amen. Including Noah and his family. Amen. So, after the flood, now, Noah came out, so we can say Noah and his family were the, uh, were the second beginning of, of, ma of, 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 of mankind. Amen. So, in Genesis chapter 19, the same way God returned to bless Adam. Amen. When they were forced, in, when he was first introduced into the earth, God returned to bless Noah. But I need to show you something. Amen. Genesis chapter 9. Listen to this. Just the same way in Genesis chapter 1. Compare the two. Amen. He said, And God blessed Noah and his son and said unto them, just the same way he said to Adam, He said, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Now, verse 2 says, and the fear of you. Oh, there were two things that were missing here now. What are the two things? Oh, God did not say, subdue the earth and have dominion. 
Amen. It ended at what? At replenish the earth. Why? Because man have handed over the dominion to who? To Satan. Man has handed over that that will make it to subdue all to Satan. So Satan has dominion over man. Amen. And because of this, Satan was able to alter the glorious destiny of man. But friend, the good news is, at redemption, Jesus restored back this dominion to man. Amen. John chapter 1 verse 12. At redemption, Jesus restored back this dominion back to who? Back to man. Because in John chapter 1 verse 12, it said, as many as believe in him. Amen. There was something that he released back unto them. And that is what? Power to what? To become the sons of God. John chapter 1 verse 12. He said, but as many as receive him, to them gave him power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe in his name. So, at redemption, this dominion that was lost to Satan was restored back to man. Now, so part of the redemption package is dominion. Amen. Now, when this dominion is not restored, it's not left for man to exercise this dominion by correcting all the evil that Satan has done when he had dominion by reversing all the enemy has done. Because now the dominion have left his hand back to the hand of the one that has been saved. Amen. So the process of reversing the evil that has been done or correcting the evil that has done, that is deliverance. Amen. So deliverance is needed because of the fall of man in the garden. Man hand over dominion to Satan and Satan now alter the glorious destiny of man. But at redemption, this dominion is restored back to man. So man now has a capacity just like original to reverse. Why? Because it's the one that is redeemed is no longer subject to Satan, but subject to God. So he has that dominion to correct all the evil that the enemy has done. Tonight, if you are listening to me, if I if you are not born again, you are still subject to Satan. The dominion has not been restored, and there is nothing anyone can do about it. But you can give your life to Jesus Christ tonight, and this dominion will be given back that over back to you. And by this dominion, you can correct whatever evil the enemy has done in your life. So if you want to give your life to Christ, wherever you are, there, now watching me, listening to me, you know, just close your eyes and cry to Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you in all humility with the Lord of my sin. I am sorry that I've sinned against you. Please have mercy on me. Forgive me of every sin. I invite you into my life. Come into me. I give my life to you. Accept me and make me your own. Be the Lord, the only Lord over my life. Thank you because you have saved me. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Now, if you have prayed that prayer, oh, as simple as it is, you have God, you have just given your life to Christ, and in the realm of the Spirit, the dominion has been restored back to you to correct whatever evil the enemy has done. Praise the Lord. But that is just the beginning of the journey. Look for a believing, I mean, a Bible-believing church. Amen. To fellowship so that you can grow in this new grace. Praise the Lord. So tonight we want to exercise this dominion to reverse whatever the enemy has done and that is our deliverer. Are you ready to pray somebody? Are you ready to exercise this dominion tonight in the name of Jesus Christ? Close your eyes. You want to pray this prayer and I want you to pray with all your heart. Pray with every aggression that you can muster tonight. Now, the first prayer you want to pray, you want to command every satanic deformation of your life, let it be revived. In whatever way the enemy have tampered with your life, let that be reversal of that deformation tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, are you ready to pray? Say, any satanic deformation of my life, of my destiny, I command be reversed tonight. 
say satanic deformation of my life and destiny I command be reversed tonight in the name of Jesus Christ go ahead and begin to pray that prayer open oh, your mouth begin to pray that prayer open oh, your mouth and pray that prayer satanic deformation of my life of my destiny I command tonight in the name of Jesus Christ oh yeah be revived 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 revi revi in any way my life has been deformed in any way my destiny has been altered in any way my life has been altered I command reversal tonight I command reversal tonight I command reversal tonight I command reversal tonight satanic deformation of my life of my destiny be reversed tonight 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 male koshoto palada legegegegua imbrodoza andaka ila duba baba baje yegele kada godobo ye imbradada satanic deformation of my life of my destiny be reversed tonight by fire 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 in the name of Jesus Christ le kosoto ri endele bosha re de sada le koje ke le anda thank you faithful father in jesus mighty name we pray you want to command any covenant that is working against your life let that covenant be broken now whether known or unknown covenant whether conscious or unconscious covenant whether the covenant of your father's house let it be whatever covenant it is that is working against your life let it break tonight in the name of jesus christ are you ready to pray say any covenant can you say with boldness say any covenant that is working against my life enough is enough therefore any covenant working against my life i reject you tonight i renounce you tonight i denounce you tonight break now by the blood of jesus break now by the blood of jesus break now by the blood of jesus i command any covenant working against my life oh yeah break now in the name of jesus Christ. covenant of my father's arm covenant of my mother's arm covenant of my in-laws are covenant of my place of bar any covenant anywhere that is working against my life man do daily under is a foundational covenant i command to now by the power in the blood of jesus oh yeah break now release me 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 i command that covenant to be broken Urada gada kulia, egege do the iba balada buru do so kuli anda. Whatever covenant whatsoever that is working against my life, against my destiny. Oh yeah, break now by the blood of Jesus. I said break now by the blood of Jesus. Oh yeah, break now by the blood of Jesus. Mali kosoto de anda lada sheheli handa ravan. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I pray for you tonight. In that name that is above every other name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In all area of bondage. In all area of captivity. In all area that you need. Uh, I command. Let there be deliverance for you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I address every evil patterns of your father's house, evil patterns of your mother's house, of your in-law's house, evil patterns of your place of birth, the evil patterns of your lineage that is manifesting in your life. Tonight I stand upon the authority of the world. Let it be terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, let it be terminated. Let that evil pattern your life. Let it come to an end now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever covenant that joins your life to any power of darkness, but the power in the blood of Jesus, let that covenant be broken now. I said, let that covenant, let it be broken now. Let that covenant, I said, let it be broken now. In 
the name of Jesus Christ, whatever covenant it is uh, that is working against your life, known or unknown covenant, I command it to break in the name of Jesus Christ. Every satanic deformation of your life, of your destiny, I decree, let there be reversal now. I say, let there be reversal now. I command your life restored back to original God-given glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because it is done. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, you are free. Amen. Congratulations. The mighty hand of the Lord has worked out your deliverance tonight. And I rejoice with you because something has happened in the realm of the spirit. Amen. Now, I, I, I want to pray with some people that you have been blessed tonight. And then you say you want to reach out to God by your way of offering or by your way of seed or by your way of tithe. I want to specially pray for you now. Father, in that name that is above every other name, behold your children. They have received your word. They have received their deliverance tonight. And in appreciation, oh God, by faith that they have received of you, they propose to release their offering, their seed, or their tithe unto you. Father, please, honor this they are giving now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive this that they are releasing unto you from them. And by this, oh God, let the deliverance be established in the name of Jesus Christ. Use this to the glory of your name. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, yes, there are account details of the ministry that is shown on the screen. You can send that your offering, send that your seed, send that your tithe to read. And as you do so, the mighty hand of God will never depart from you. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to remind you all again, remember, this is the book for the month. You know, get this book. Amen. Exposed. Power that naked. Amen. Powers that naked. Deliverance is all about prayers. Amen. So do everything to get this book. It has over 3,000 prayer points, different prayer points that deals with powers that naked. You can get this from any bookshops around you or you can get that across to us for a copy. God bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. Can we share the grace in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lift up your right hand and say after me, say, I am God's fire on the move. Say, I am God's fire on the moon. I am God's fire on the moon. At my appearance, darkness must disappear. I am God's fire on the moon. Whatever that cannot stop God will not be able to stop me. I am God's fire on the moon. Amen. One powerful hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you till I come your way again. Stay delivered.